They say it's a matter of time A thousand days and the sun won't shine Before I come back to you When I'm happy Nothing's going to stop me I'm making my way home I'm making my way A study funded by Autism Speaks found that one out of 115 kids is diagnosed with autism. We had the privilege to speak and meet with two extraordinary people named Sean and Zafrino. Both have autism and both are extremely talented athletes. And I'm happy. This is a little bit Nothing's about Nothing's going to stop me. I'm making my way home. I'm making my way. I'm Sean Thompson. I'm 21. I graduated from West Aurora High School. And I'm going to another school, Black Oak Campus. And I'm um, going to volunteer at a food pantry. Well, my friend Michael, my favorite sport is basketball, golf. Well, I used to, I used to watch TV, watch movies, and hang out with my family and friends. <laughs> Impossible. Do, 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 do. And double teamed. And Evelyn Hawaii. Yeah. He likes to play video games. Ham family. And I went to Mr. Handsome. I was Mr. Congeniality. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. I went to the Cougars game. My mom and Sam and I. I sing the national anthem. Well, it made me feel happier, proud and kind of excited. Along with Zeferino and Sean, we also had the chance to speak with their parents and mentors. Um, well, it took it from the academic portion of it at the high school to the next level of uh, life skills and how he will take care of himself uh, when he's done with the transition program. And um, you know, we do a lot through Fox Valley Special Rec and um, we're very thankful that they are, you know, there for everybody, anybody with special needs. It can be very little special needs up to, you know, that those that need a lot of uh, help. Um, that's the one good place that's still there. Um, the other places, unfortunately, the state and the government has taken away a lot of um, supports that they used to have in place because of money. So, um, well, I think because we knew at such a young age that there were some disabilities, especially with his feet, um, knowing and not knowing if he was ever going to actually walk when he was born. and. Um, you know, and then with all of his surgeries, then that kind of changed. But I don't think, I think because it just, we grew right with it. I really don't see Sean as having that much or that bad of a disability. I don't even know if that's the correct verbiage. Um, I guess I don't see it. Like, and a lot of people will be like, he's disabled? Um, yes. And until they really start talking to him, a lot of people don't even realize that he has a disability. So um, it's not one of those that, uh, you know, like with Downs, you have the look that you have a disability. You have Down syndrome. But with him, you know, people see him and they think everything is just, you know, he's just one of the guys. And, you know, and like I said, then they start talking to him and they realize that he's, you know, not quite all there, if that's the verbiage. Um, so, yeah. This is Zeferino, also known as Zef. With Zef, we had a harder time getting him to open up to us about his experiences. Zef Ray's 12 and 69, corner, corner, we kick return. Yes. Yeah. What do you 
tackle, warning, and, and tackle running. I think it's an excellent output for Zeph because um, he gets his anger out. He excited he's overwhelmed with it we went to a doctor's appointment and he only had an hour left of football practice and he made us rush back from chicago and he went in the locker room threw his equipment on and just ran out there and he was just like determined to just play for that extra hour Yes, there is. He's um, actually joined wrestling last year, and um, he loved it, and he plans on keeping with the wrestling, and then he got into football, and he's loving the football, and he gets into video games, and he wants to get in competitions with that, and I feel he's getting into a lot of things, especially with school. He's loving everything. Oh, I get so excited. It's like just overwhelming seeing your son out there playing and just getting that joy, seeing him getting excited, especially after everything that we've been through to get him to this point, being autistic and being to the point where he never wanted to touch you or hug you or even put his hands on you. And I've literally told every parent to hug your child, kiss them until they make the sound. Give them that extra attention, even though they don't want it, force it on them. And now, he hugs you, he kisses you, he, he plays physical sports, and it doesn't bother him. And he is autistic, and you can't even tell anymore. So it's wonderful. places we got to be Sit beneath the mango tree now Yeah, it's always better when we're together mm, Somewhere in between together Well, it's always better when we're together Yes, I do believe that there is enough extracurricular activities to keep us included and involved. Uh, what I enjoy most about being a parent and watching Zeph playing uh, sports, uh, including wrestling and football, is being there to support him, uh, being at every practice, and just encouraging him to excel. Uh, just watching him uh, begin just as a cornerback and football to being now a cornerback, a linebacker, uh, a running back, and uh, a special teams, um, just seeing that from the beginning and of where Coach uh, Howe just said that all he could say was kickball, kickball, kind of like the water boy, if I could, per se. But that's what I enjoy the most is just seeing him excel. Tyler works with Zeferino and makes sure he has various outlets to help him feel included. Uh, usually during the middle of the day, I'll give him a call right before I go and meet with them. Uh, and then Usually I try and find something that they're interested in to uh, spark their interest just so I can start gaining uh, common ground with them and they, I don't know how would you put it, uh, start to trust me a lot more. Um, and then we'll go out and do just about anything that they like to do from playing basketball, uh, fishing, bowling, anything of that nature, whatever they find fun in doing. There's no combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard. Uh, just making a change in one person's life and if anything I can do to help somebody else out is just a plus for me. I enjoy helping somebody out. The toughest part and then breaking through the barrier of them getting to know me and then starting to feel comfortable. I think just feeling comfortable with the other kid and the other kid feeling comfortable with me is the hardest part and then after we break through that barrier it's pretty easy going. With Zeph it was really challenging at first. I mean with um, with the, the autism that he has it's he's very high functioning but even though it's to gain that trust and relationship with him was very tough. It took me about two to three months just to be able for him to open up and talk to me just a little bit to eventually it got to the point where he'd call me he asked me to come over and wondering where we're going to be there. If I was running two, three minutes late, he was asking me, where are you at? Where are you at? Are we coming? Are we going to this? And he started really looking forward to it. And I started seeing a lot of positive change in him. A big thank you to the families that helped us feel included.
to be there. I've been running ever since. It's been a Oh, yes. 